Welcome back to Pharmacy News. Joining me now, the one and only Paul Naismith. He's back again for APP 2016. You are the CEO of Fred IT, which sounds interesting. Yeah, it's a job I've had for 22 years, so. You're doing it well. I'm pretty good at it by now. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about some of the digital trends in pharmacy. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's all about trying to get the health record and the medicines record combined, so that, you know, the days of all the pharmacies having their own little records yeah. and not sharing it. You know, we've got to get that trend away. So we've um, you know, been working with the government on the My Health Record initiative to try to put all the medicines in one spot. And uh, that's been a, bit of a, been, a, been a bit of a challenge. He says with gritted teeth. Yeah. So what are some of the challenges just facing just the pharmacist in terms of overcoming those digital uh, trend challenges? Well, it, it's connecting to the government system. It's yeah. a little bit bureaucratic and a little bit complicated to get on. So uh, just getting through the paperwork is a bit of a challenge, Miranda. Tell me a little bit more about my health record. So the Minister, uh, the Minister of Health who was here today, she, she talked about rebooting the my health record. Yeah. and. Uh, and that's about trialling uh, a change so that consumers don't have to opt in and do all the paperwork. They'll automatically get a record. So sure. they're going to trial that uh, later this year in Queensland and in Nepean in New South Wales. So that should hopefully get away from the problem that when you open the record, there's nobody in there. Yes. So uh, that should be good. There was another exciting announcement today as well. Yeah, yeah. We, we announced the uh, Medview Medicines Workspace. So that, that's a, a place the pharmacists can get together and have a look at the medicines and they'll draw medicines from the government's repository, but also from the, the data we have in ERX, which is there's 1.2 billion medication really? records in there. So hopefully pharmacists can look in the government's repository, they can look in ours, they can look in the hospital and bring it all together and have one single view of what the customer's on. Yeah. And they can use that to stop some of the issues we've got with uh, adverse drug events that occur because we don't know what people are on in, in different locations. So sure. That's the initiative we announced today and uh, we bring that to market during this year. So exciting times ahead for pharmacy? Oh yeah, I, I mean, t challenging times, but yeah. you know, hopefully we can use some of the technologies that we see in um, uh, digital disruption, things like the Uber type technologies, yeah. and see how they work in pharmacy and, and take the best parts of that and use that to solve some of the problems we've uh, struggled to solve for uh, many years. All my faith in you. <laughs> I'm sure, thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, Paul. Thanks, Brenda. Thank you. We'll be back with more pharmacy news shortly.